production of Geelong City Council. Every city has its unique feel, and every corner of a city has its stories to tell. Surrounded by mountains and sea, and offering diverse cultural heritage, Geelong is a harbour city filled with vitality and charm. The force in place to supervise the development of the city and guard the well-being of its residents is the Geelong City Council. First organized in 1946 by election, the first term council was officially established in 1950, which began the era of supervision of city administration under an electoral system. The City Council is now in its 17th term. The seats of council have increased from the original 15 to 32 right now. In this temple of democratic assembly, elected councillors have become the voice of the people over the years and endeavor to build a prosperous Geelong. The Geelong City Council Assembly is the highest decision-making body of the Council. There are four review committees for Civil Administration, Finance, Construction, and Education, and a Procedure and a Discipline Committee under the Council to supervise two facets of City Administration. The Council calls general meetings once every six months and special sessions whenever needed to discuss proposed bills and review the City budget. When the Council is in session, 32 councillors assemble in the grand and elegant new Council Hall to vote on bills that are proposed based on the public opinions of constituents and to supervise the implementation of bills by city government to make sure tax money is well spent on improving the well-being of residents. The 32 councillors of the 17th Geelong City Council were sworn into office on March 1, 2010. On the same day, Councillor Huang Jintai and Song Shui Yuan were elected the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the Council. The incumbent Speaker of the Council, Huang Jintai, is a KMT member. With a master's degree in law from National Zhengzhou University, Speaker Huang once worked as a legislative assistant and is a five-time elected councillor. He is young and works aggressively and diligently in supervising the city government in the hope to bring Geelong City to a new horizon. First of all, we must hone the professional capabilities of council staff to make them better equipped to provide professional knowledge and suggestions when councillors are in session to question government officials or review bills. The council wants to be the best supporter for councillors. At the same time, we want to do a better job promoting the scenic beauty and maritime culture of Geelong. And impress on visitors that Geelong is a perfectly inhabitable city and offers a variety of attractions.
，我们还能够算是偏远的的城市吗？ The city is divided into seven administrative districts. Jungjung District elects four councillors to represent its residents. The district is located in the most prestigious part of the city, with an important commercial harbor in northern Taiwan, a military harbor, a shipbuilding establishment, and a fisheries center in the area. Hoping Island is situated at the northern end of the district, facing the Jilong Islet that stands alone in the sea. Jilong Islet serves as a military bastion for Jilong Harbor. The Chaojin Coastal Park and Urshawan Fort are unique scenic spots. The councillors from Zhongzheng District will promote full force transportation infrastructure and the tourist fish market to create more job opportunities for residents. I hope to see you in the next meeting. The committee must be like the 当初市政府开遐多钱，用自己钱承办。我们是不是来建造一个基隆的一个新地标？新义 district elects four councillors to represent its citizens. The district was the focus of development during Japanese occupation. The area has government agencies, schools. Hospitals and high-end residential buildings. It is the cultural district of Jilong, and also features the city hall. Issues of concern for councillors from this district are how to develop the tourism business and improve the functions of the area to provide the residents with a more convenient living environment. The Renai District elects four councillors to represent its residents. The district is the main gateway into Jilong from Taipei, and the most important commercial district of the city. The famous Miaoko Night Market is situated in this district. Given the heavy tourist traffic in the area, how to keep the traffic flow smooth, find more parking space, and resolve the drainage problem will be the focus of attention for councillors from the district. The Zhongshan District elects four councillors to represent its residents. This district faces the sea on the north and borders the inner harbor of Jilong on the east. With mountains in the backdrop, the district features ancient relics such as the Baimi Wang Fort, once a Dutch fort, and many other tourist attractions. The district also has a fossil fuel power plant. The councillors from this district will focus their efforts on promoting tourism and leisure business in the area. The Anla District elects seven councillors to represent its residents. This district is largely hilly land and the most populous district in Jilong.
With Da Wuluan Industrial Park in the district, the area is bustling with industrial and commercial activities and has seen more and more new housing developments in recent years. Important issues in the district include how to supervise the city government in relation to soil and water conservation and flood prevention, and how to ensure a safe and desirable living environment for residents in the area. The Nuanwan district elects three councillors to represent its residents. The district is situated in the southeast suburbs of Geelong and is one of the earliest developed towns in the northeastern part of Taiwan. The district features an immense conservation zone in the south with natural canyon views and several leisure farms that have been attracting a large number of visitors in recent years. The councillors from this district will concentrate their efforts in bringing about the early completion of access roads into the district and the treatment of Geelong River to turn the area into a better place for leisure activities and living. The Chidu district elects five councillors to represent its residents. The district is embraced by mountains with the Geelong River passing through it hence offering a leisurely rustic feel and natural tourism resources. The issues of concern for councillors from this district include river treatment solutions, development of tourism and leisure industries, development of a science park, and enhancement of the standard of living in the district and its supporting systems. 在这段时间, the indigenous residents in the city elect one councillor to represent them. This elected councillor will endeavor to preserve their indigenous heritage and culture and strive to win more benefits for indigenous residents in work and housing. Councillors in their respective districts shoulder the expectations of voters who elected them. The council as a whole hopes that its efforts will fully reflect the needs of city residents and bring more social welfare, a better educational environment, and a better quality of life to residents. The Chidong Shi Hui, we said that the leader has to play the most basic speaker role. All councillors of Geelong City Council must be a competent speaker for the people. At the same time, every councillor should function like a Google search engine to identify the needs of all residents accurately and swiftly. The most important task of the council is to find solutions to problems in connection with the sustained development and prosperity of Geelong City in the shortest possible time. The council should also play the role of a pioneer in city administration to lead the city to a better future and make every resident feel proud to live in the most desirable and happiest city. Voice the opinions of the people and act according to the wishes of the people is the common belief of every councillor. Geelong City Council will continue to adhere to its beliefs and work with the city government to create a brighter and more prosperous future for Geelong City.